It's the final weekend before Election Day, and the two candidates for governor are making their way across the Sunshine State, making one final push before voters head to the polls. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis holding a rally Saturday in Port St. Lucie. There, giving a stump speech in front of hundreds of supporters. He spoke about immigration, COVID, education, among other things, such as how strong he's made the state of Florida. We had a $102 billion budget last fiscal year, and we ended that fiscal year with a $22 billion surplus, largest in history of Florida. So don't tell me the leadership doesn't matter. Don't tell me policy and, and your principles don't matter. DeSantis also touting his handling of the economy, being a law and order governor, and fighting for Floridians' freedoms. We saw a massive assault on our freedoms across this country and every other place uh, where freedom was withering on the vine, Florida had to stand up and hold the line for liberty and that's what we did. His Democratic challenger, Charlie Crist, hopping around Central Florida Saturday. At a stop in Tampa, surrounded by a small group of supporters, saying DeSantis is doing the opposite. Your freedom is at stake in this election. And you know, it's not just the freedom of women, it's the freedom of all people, people that are of color and their right to vote and how this governor DeSantis has made it more difficult by not having drop boxes in minority communities throughout the state, by eliminating two African-American congressional districts. Christ also discussing abortion, pleading voters to head to the polls. And enough is enough. And it's time for us to take our Florida back, a Florida that has decency, kindness and compassion and that's what the election really is all about, respecting everybody, no matter where you come from, no matter what language you speak, no matter what your gender. Election Day is this Tuesday, November 8th, and polls are open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And election night, you can tune in right here to CBS 12 for the latest election results.